What is up? Ba, 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 Tell me. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, man. What's up, everyone? This is my intro song. Bum, I'm bum. embarrassed. You could listen to your this stance. if you put your headset on. I won't do that because you hit the buttons all night long. What's up, everybody? We are excited to have you back. Woo-woo! The Pillars. Of action. action. Action, action. Up top. Whoa. Hey now. You're, you're hey now. You you're an all star. He's got his copy. Thanks, oh, for, thanks for ruining it. Thanks for uh, everybody. Let's all say thanks to the Everyday Wife for uh, copyright claiming us, making the exciting part. Uh, not well, as exciting. I'll sing a thanks bit so more much. Later, so, what does it matter? Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. We are excited to have you here. Hey. I'm excited. I see Photo Gear Fun. I see Daniel Baldry. Mm-hmm. Whoa, Chris. Wait, weren't you just something else like a second ago? Hey, uh, yeah, Chris. I saw Whoa, well, Chris, up. Chase. I see uh, Kenneth Duke, Photo Finn, Chase Nipper, Reckless, Aiden, Chase, Bjorn, Chase again. Lots of chases. <laughs> <laughs> Chase all so, over the place. And Florida Boy Productions. Hey, thanks for joining us, everybody. Really, wow. really appreciate it. Hold on. I'm gonna. We're going to do some tweeting. There will be a tweet. The tweet is completed. That means, I mean, if it's not on Twitter, did it really happen? I don't know. Everybody's boycotting no. social media right now, oh. right? It's very trendy. Who's everybody? You literally just five seconds ago you saw five that as a YouTube video. Five seconds ago, I had a suggested video. You and saw I said, that on what a YouTube this? video, and this now is you. let me listen. It's the cool thing to do. I'm it's like, the cool thing tell to do. me again about how people are boycotting social media, but here we all are. Here we all, here we all are. are. Here we all are. So thanks for joining us for the Pillars of Action. Super excited to have you here. Yes. Um, um, I know it's been what we didn't stream last week. The week uh, before no. that, I was sick, and it just yeah. And I streamed been... for like an hour and a half that night, I think. Oh yeah, so yeah, she did. does. She does a post stream. Are you doing your post stream tonight? We might as well get that. I don't out know. I guess front. we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how excited she is afterwards. What's up, Spiffy? How are you doing, Kenneth Duke? I did not put it on Discord. And everybody, if you'd like to follow <laughs> us on Discord and do like a live chat of your own, you can always join us on Discord. Some, uh, I'm sure, Woe Chris or Photo Gear Fun or. I think those are the only two that, that can do it. And Daniel is also on there. So if you guys Yay. want, uh, I'm sure somebody can post a link to our Discord server where we have lots of we where we have lots <laughs> of fun chats. And uh, we're going to talk today about this behemoth. Whoa! Do you see this camera? That is a it's mega like, camera. It's like the monolith coming up from what was it, 2000. Oh, a my monolith. Legs. Oh, my toe's still broken. Um, <laughs> it's like the it's like the uh, not the obelisk. What's the word I'm thinking of? I have no idea. Your vocabulary is very nerdy sometimes. It's I bet you mean it's good. You mean it's good. Oh, your vocabulary nerds, is so good, but your thesaurus good, is very nerds lacking. Nerds have good. Poor. What, what is the word I'm looking for? It's not an obelisk, not the monolith. What's the thing from 2001 that is the, it's, it's, I know the shape is like What is like it? A, I what? can't. 
I Where can't have you think seen of it? it. In the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh, in the actual movie. I haven't in the seen movie. such a movie. It's the... Whatever it is. It's this thing. Hi. The huge camera uh, that mm-hmm. I'm really excited about. We've got this today. I've been playing around with okay. it all day. Have some already some uh, expectations and some, some thoughts about it. So if you have a question, you can leave it below where we talk about this, which could be the perfect vlogging camera. Like, so I it say could. a lot. Let me see it. Let me hold it. I say a lot that the GH5 is just about the perfect vlogging camera. Um, this is the GH5 with a battery grip on it. And the only thing the GH5 has really wrong with it, it is, is it does not have good autofocus. That has phase detection autofocus, which should be pretty darn good. Oh, so, and, and it's it got, has our ticket. And it's got the flip screen. But why does it have a viewfinder? Well, I don't know. Nerds, like why? Nerds use viewfinders. I don't. Weird. Photographers use viewfinders. Oh, I never okay. use a viewfinder. Handsome gadgets, two dollars. Congratulations on any success. Great content. Well, oh, thanks so much. Thanks. What's up, Bill Utah? I also saw Bill Utah joined Bill, us in here. Yay, Bill! Um, so that brings up. Hold on. Really big. Really big. Uh, so when we start out the, there's some administrative notes that I make at the beginning of the the okay. live streams. Again, if you have questions, you can shoot them to at Wonderwife or at the Everyday Dad. I'll try to. Oh, excuse me. She monitors the chat much better than ah! I do. Or you could always shoot us a super chat if you want your question like to be super. It would be super. That was a laugh. It was? It would get the applause. I, I forget. I've labeled these, but they're labeled oh, terribly. Um, so, yeah, you could always do that way. But what I want to say um, in the beginning is I like to start off the live stream with a thank to the, thanks to the patrons. Okay. Um, because it, it means a lot to me that somebody believes enough in the content of the channel to actually invest in it. So to all the patrons, thank you. Uh, on this part, I would generally do a spotlight of new patrons, but we didn't have any new patrons last week. So what I want to do okay. is I want to thank all the patrons we've had for a year or more. Oh, a year or a more? A year or more. Patrons oh for a gosh. year. Oh my gosh, you're basically part of our family. Yeah, I, it's you. crazy. I, so again, it, it means a lot to me. If you'd like wow. to become a patron, there's a link in the description below. But So I, I sent a message out to all these people, so I've already chatted with them and thanked them personally. But I would like to thank oh. each individual. So starting off with Albert C., um, oh. just thank you, patron for 13 months. Wow. 13 months. Uh, Albert's been a patron. Thank you so much. I know you said you're going to start... Uh, You've been really busy. You haven't had a chance to interact so much on the live streams. Hopefully, you'll be able to watch this afterwards if you're not here right now. But seriously, thank thank you, you, Albert. You are amazing. Beakerzor. Now, I I didn't want to use I didn't want to use people's like real names in case privacy. Privacy. So I'm going to use if you gave a a username on here, I'm going to use your username. So Beakerzor has been a patron for 12 months. What a great name! I know. I love the name. Um, it's an it's just so awesome. So awesome. We got some that are really close. Uh, Casey J. I won't say again. I won't say full names, but sure. Casey, thank you so much. I really appreciate oh, thank it. You. Just, you're so awesome. Uh, Daniel will be thanking you next month. Just saying. Daniel Baldry. Yeah. <gasps> Daniel. Hold on. Oh. Let me. Jeff Baker, of course. Jeff, Jeff. Baker. Uh, I already sent him a message. Also, he's been a patron for 13 months. Wow. 13 we need to meet him months. Still. I know we do. Since we live in Virginia, we really have no. We're uh, coming to Roanoke or we'll meet you halfway or something. We have no. Uh, no. So, Kevin N. Again, I don't want to say any last yeah, names Kevin here because you never know. But thank you for so much, Kevin. I really appreciate you being a year long member of the Team Ted. And I think I'm going to steal Woe Chris's name when he said Tedizens earlier. You might have, You might have thought I didn't hear that or see that. I did see that. I like that. Do you guys uh. like Team Ted? Or do you like Tedizens better? Let us know in the comments oh, below. Okay. Yeah, that was Let very clever. Well, Chris, you got some cleverisms out there. Mark W. Also uh, awesome. So Thank it doesn't, you, Mark. It doesn't let me sort by this, so I have to click through each patron to find out. See when they've started. I remember, I remember a lot of them, but I don't remember every single one. Wow, you guys. Uh, uh, this is fantastic. Clicking. It allows us to make content, and the more... The more we have, the more we can make. So that's fantastic. Thank you. Well, for you. for me, it's less about like, for me, the the patron, whatever. The it's not necessarily about the money. It's the it's the 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 believing. It's the belief, right? So the money, whatever. The money comes and goes. Money's like a. It's not money's not a very important thing to me. But it's it just like being part of the team and being like joining in and and that's what matters to me. And I I really appreciate that because when you when you become a patron, it's like you're. I, I don't know. It's like it, you believe I, in you us. Just believe. Like it. It. It just gets me. Like I'm getting worked up right now. Steve, uh, thanks, Steve S. Thank you so much. 
I really appreciate it. Another uh, year-long patron. Thank you. Wally G. Man, I have. Wally. I really hope. I really yeah. hope you're watching this. I really appreciate that. I, man, we've been talking. We've lots of Australians. I remember. I've been. I remember talking to uh, Wally for a long time. So those uh, to start off the live stream. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the patrons. You guys rock. You are the best. I really appreciate it. So let's. All right. What else? The Discord. We've already talked about the Discord. Patrons have their own little. They get your own little Discord like <laughs> name that's in red because I figured that was the coolest color. Yeah. And you get your own channel. What's up? Well, how about that? Do we have any questions? Questions? No, comments. people are commenting if they like. <laughs> I see Teddians, Teddisons, but please don't call us Teddy Bears. Teddy Bears? Ooh, somebody <laughs> oh. might get that. Who's, who said that? Who said it? Who said it? Oh, you know it was Will Chris. Oh, well, that's definitely what your name is now. <laughs> that's definitely what your name your is new now. new name. That's it. From now Let's on. See. I see Scott is tuned in, heading from Polaris Mall. Oh, I'm, I'm applauding. We just did the applause for oh. uh, Woe Chris now being a teddy bear. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You? I'm kidding. And yes, uh, we are currently not sponsored by the lovely folks over at Coca-Cola Cherry Zero. No, and yeah. everybody keeps asking what I'm drinking. You guys, it's chai tea and protein shake. Hold on, you're you're interrupting my hair waving. I'm interrupting oh, you. Now I've got to do it again. Never, I would never. Mmm, mmm, mm. it's so good. You're so pretty. I don't I don't know I how don't I got know. so lucky. I don't know either, to be quite honest. It's just to be quite blessing. honest, I don't know either. Blessing. Every there we day. go. Um, Hashtag bless. So yeah, so uh, <laughs> talking about the O M D E M one X. O M D E M. O M D. E M one X. Oh, that was like O M G. No, they're, look, their naming convention is not so O M D, O M D, E M one X. So it's basically like they're trying to create. So this is not necessarily a camera created for video, right? This is supposed to be like a super pro level photography camera. Okay. It's supposed to do sports actions, a sports action. <laughs> like one of the benefits of having a micro four third sensor is you get crop, so you get a farther zoom, so you should be able to do things like. Take pictures of birds in flight, which I guess is like the yeah, thing. Yeah, that's that cool. Hummingbirds, work. yeah. So that's what this camera's designed to do. It's not okay. necessarily designed to be, technically speaking, $10 Seabus represent. We all know that you guys are Team Scott and not Team Greg. I love Scott. I, 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 You're I, awesome. I do not take sides. She takes Greg sides. Greg does have a great beard, though. I don't take sides. I appreciate I it. I have though. allegiances. Sorry. But um, can't help it. so this camera is not necessarily made for video, but it has some very interesting features for video. Um, and again, like the title of the live stream says, is it the perfect vlogging camera? So again, I think, as we said a few moments ago, I think that the GH5, this is the GH5 right here with the battery grip on. I think this is about the best vlogging camera ever made. People ask me what I think the best vlogging camera <laughs> is. Um, and, and I know a lot of people like Canon, mm. people like Sony. I think the GH5 is the best vlogging camera ever made for a couple of reasons. One, you know, it's got that flip out screen that makes it very, very easy to frame yourself, see all that stuff. It's got audio levels that you can see from there. It's got focus peaking, which is important because you would not be doing this in autofocus. I would not uh -huh. suggest using the autofocus, but if you're vlogging, you're probably close enough that you can tap focus. You're good. You don't need to worry about it. Okay. The stabilization is great. The audio preamps are great. Um, I love this is my favorite Fid camera. Of fiddliness all time. is good. Fiddliness is low. So it's, it's an acceptable level. Acceptable levels of fiddliness happen. And then if you're doing studio stuff, okay. you can buy this little adapter right here. It gives you pro-level audio. Look at that. It just clicks on. Boom. Done. I love this camera. You do. But the problem is, the oh. only negative, like oh, I said, uh, what the is it? only negative is the autofocus. Like, it's got contrast-based autofocus. Oh, no. Not very good. It's not, not good the at... the autofocus. It's not good at... a. It's okay now they've done some firmware updates where it will acquire focus fine, whatever. Um, but it has problems where it comes to like maintaining focus. It, it always it's always hunting a little bit, which stinks. So that's the benefit. Ugh. Whoops. Oh my word, <laughs> you almost dropped it. I didn't. I had total control. Um, I don't think you did. I, I had a uh, I had a total control the whole time. So anyway. The OMD <laughs> EM1X uh, is basically like the GH5. So this is Wait, not... let me hold them both. You hold this Are they one. the same, like, 
thing. So this is not a battery grip. This is the body of the camera. Like it has the battery grip integrated into the camera itself. So like, like essentially, obviously this one's upside down. I know that you guys. Is it? But I just wanted to feel. This is a little heavier. This one. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, check this out. Let me show you something. What are you gonna do? What is that? It's the battery grip. This is gonna sound dumb, but like, did you just take the battery off the camera? No, it's got a battery inside of it. But like, why this do you just have a battery you, grip? This gives you an extra battery, so you now have two batteries. Oh. And it, it lets you have a little like extra okay. place to hold. Okay. That doesn't come off. This is an all-in-one like That's mega. That's all-in-one package that contains two batteries in it. Okay. So does it get hot? You know, everybody asks that these things get hot. Does it get hot? I haven't had a chance to use it like long enough to do any kind of like heat tests on it. Um, right. How much is this going to set you back? Uh, you don't want to know. Yeah, no, I do. Three G's on this sucker. On just that with no What's lens. What's this? This is like with no lens. You can't use it without one. This is fifteen hundred. And then, like, 30 bucks for the battery grip. And it comes with a lens, too? Like, in a no, package? This, you could get this with a package lens. i put put you about, like, two grand. Okay. Well, shoot. Is autofocus worth $1,000? To some people, probably. Look, look, look. To some people, probably. At some point, there's going to have to be a perfect camera. Regardless of the price, I'm going to make you get it so we don't have to keep getting them. Well, I would say that this is the perfect camera, right? Oh, it's got. I don't know. Great stabilization. Okay. It's got great autofocus. All right. I like Micro Four Thirds. All right. This is Micro Four Thirds. All right. If for those that don't know what Micro Four Thirds is, it's this little. See the sensor. That is a Micro Four Thirds sensor. The camera we are currently on is an APS-C sensor, which means it's just a little bit bigger. Um, is bigger or better? Depends. Do you want better low light performance, and do you want a shallower depth of field? If if able, then yes. If you don't really care about those things. Then no, because a smaller sensor buys you a few benefits, okay. such as stabilization that's actually useful, as opposed to like the, uh, as opposed to like the the <laughs> Sony <laughs> Ibis in body image stabilization in body image stabilization that's okay. like meh, it's kind of meh. They have it, but it's not very <gasps> good. Oh no! <laughs> so I'm really excited about this camera. Like I said, I messed around with it a little bit today. We the unboxing video will be on Monday. If you're curious, what comes in the box with this thing? It actually has a really nice box. Um, it has a nice box. It comes with a lot of very nice accessories. Uh, I will just say, I don't want to spoil it for you. I don't want to spoil Monday's video. Okay. But I will say that the problem that Sony has, uh, Olympus does not have. Olympus gives you very mm. nice things in the box. Very nice. <laughs> Bill Utah says, for three grand, it better come with someone <laughs> to take my I know, photos. right? It, it comes with a Sherpa. It comes with a Sherpa, delivers it to you, oh. and then carries it around for you afterwards. <laughs> Illinook. Maybe uh, Kenneth. What what accessory for the GH5 would you say is essential? I say the uh the battery grip. Like I said, I got this is not the official um Panasonic battery grip. This is the like the newer, the newer, newer battery grip that I got for like 50 bucks. Um, but it like makes the battery life go from good to amazing. <clears throat> and I don't know, once you put a battery grip on a camera, it feels so professional. Oh. Like I, f I feel like I'm a pro. Like legit. Like I'm like Look at me go with this thing. <laughs> Vincent Chen, $2. Ollie is pricey. It is the Olympus. very pricey. Yes, yeah. the Olympus. I've never used an yeah, Olympus yeah. camera before. Um, this is my very first time using an Olympus camera. I was So I'm kind of disappointed in this <laughs> camera before we even get started. Uh, when this camera was initially announced, um, it does have, so it has what's called a live ND filter, where if you're taking photos, you should theoretically not need an ND filter on the front of it. Because it will take a, a, a correct exposure and a lower exposure picture, and it will combine the two, simulating an ND filter. And I was really excited this would have built-in ND, so like for video people, okay. you wouldn't need one. That would be amazing. So I am kind of disappointed in it, but uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to give it a shot. Disappointed. Okay. I'm excited to give it a shot. Florida Boy Productions, what do I think the Canon EOS M3? I've never used the EOS M3. But if it's like the rest of their EFM cameras, I'm sure it's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. I know the M50 is the only one that will really give you the flip screen with the audio in. I have tried an M100, which was perfectly fine, but it didn't have the audio in. It, it had a flip up screen as opposed to a flip out screen. Uh, so you just have to have to use it like that. <laughs> Illinuk, $15. Thanks for answering. Adding to my Amazon card. Well, yeah, absolutely. I would say that the battery grip is a cent. Well, this one. 
the battery grip is essential. And if you're doing YouTube videos, this XLR adapter, I would almost say is essential because I can't. So I tried to, oh, I don't want to mess with my audio levels. I just, I just messed with them a little bit. Oh, no. I would have to say that. So I've tried going back. I've tried making some videos with my a6400 with the Z6 with the X-T3. And I've used like a Rode microphone, a regular powered like 3.5 millimeter microphone. I can't use them anymore. Like this, oh. this has spoiled me for audio. Like this is the best audio I have ever gotten in my life out of this little adapter. Um, it's expensive. This is 300 bucks. But for Bye. me, it is so worth it. This is the best audio of it. Well, I use this with an, uh, can you turn that towards us? That this? Shotgun microphone. This one? This is my microphone that I use in the videos, if you guys can see it. Um, this is the ATR875R. <laughs> the AT875R. It's an XLR microphone. It's, it's a cheap one. But XLR, in my opinion, XLR fan-empowered microphones are so much better than even like a powered 3.5 millimeter one. And so that's what I use. I use a cheap XLR microphone with this adapter. It is insane. Oh. Insane. What's up, Cardosa Media? Rick Ramsauer. Odd Singh, yo, love your videos. First time seeing you live. Keep working hard. But, well, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for, I appreciate it. Just one wonder, like, hey, man, I have a YouTube question. Do you have your experience out of sync audio video? I uploaded yesterday, post link in IG, but using that link in my video is way out of sync. I've never had, I've had some times where, People will watch my video and say they see it is out of sync, uh -huh. but then I watch it and I don't see it. So oh. there might be a, a weird issue with like YouTube. Um, Occasionally, I've, nev I've never seen it myself where I haven't gone back and then checked my video and like, oh yeah, it's out of sync in the video. It's not YouTube's fault; it's my fault. I've uh, I've never seen that personally. Matt MPG, should I sell my M50 and get an A6400? That is a very personal decision. Um, I really. Really like the A6400. Um, I'm actually shocked at how much I liked it. When I when it first was announced, I was like, yeah, whatever. Sony's releasing another APS-C camera. I, I was okay with the A6300. The A6500, I do not like the A6500. Photo Gear Fun will argue with me about this for days. We've argued in Discord about this. <laughs> oh, no. Um, but I do not like the A6500, and I was afraid that the A6400 was going to be, like, mostly an A6500. But it's mostly an A63. Okay, so here's what the A6400 is. The A6400 is an A7 III in an APS-C body with a flip-up screen. I love that stupid camera. Like, even today, when I did reviewing the cheapest, um, I, like doing the out I like doing the outside stuff for reviewing the cheapest, but I like getting different focal lengths because just one focal length is boring. If I was only going to do one focal length, I'd just keep the GH5, get a wide-angle lens because I can do the whole tap-to-focus thing, which is one of the most useful things about the GH5. Um, but instead, I like doing different focal ranges, so... I use the A6400 now with the fantastic autofocus, the flip-up screen. I use this, which is the Sigma 16mm 1.4 lens. And I'll use the 30mm 1.4 lens, which is a fantastic lens that gets oft maligned. Oh. Boom. Dropping the knowledge. Watch out. Whoops. Oh, nope. I just did the crickets. <laughs> I don't have like a... You need them labeled correctly. I do. They're labeled, but you, you, can't, really, you can't really see. I just cricketed myself when I was trying to oh. do like a mic dropping... Wah, That's embarrassing. <laughs> Not surprising. I just did the wah, wah. Well, I already did it for you. Like, yeah, in but real I did it. Life. I did it. That's what matters. Mine was much better. That's what matters. Um, some people. Oh yeah. I. I. There's been some like YouTube always has weird things with video, right? Because there, there's like billions of hours uploaded every day. So uh, there's always gonna be there's always gonna be weird stuff. Only always gonna be weird stuff. Mad MPG. No kidding. The only thing that was better when I had the C200. Everyday Dad, I can't. The C two hundred is a fantastic camera. I was not, Ill, I was not prepared for that camera. I think I did that thing no justice. Like that's an amazing camera. Which I don't, camera? The big. Remember the big one. Which one? The big There's, cinema. They're cam all big. The cinema camera I had. The C two hundred. I literally just said C two hundred. Okay. The one. Okay. All right. I've got it now. The C two hundred. I. It's a Do fantastic. Do I recall it? Yes. It's a fantastic I remember camera. Hyperventilating when it showed up. Very expensive. I loved it. Um, the problem is that I didn't use it well enough. I was trying to do like, that was the one time I was trying to do log footage, um, like C-log, uh, like a log logarithmic uh, profile. I don't do that anymore. So I like to see, I liked the C200, but it was just too much. It was too big. Like when I take the A6400, people just think I'm some kind of weirdo. But if I'm, uh, that's fine. But they think I'm innocuous weirdo. 
when I have the C200, they think I'm a malicious weirdo. And they're like, hey, what are you doing over there? Hey, 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 guy with the big camera. You got a permit for that? Uh, yeah. Okay. It's weird. Vincent Chen, $2, P-Touch labeled mixers. I do. Well, I had them. I have like them labeled with like tape and marker, but then tapping them wiped off the marker. Can you guys see? No. And um, somebody asked what your soundboard was called, the Rode. This is the Rodecaster Pro. It, it just came out not too long ago, um, and I really like it. I was using a different soundboard. This. this thing is the Cunix, the Xenix Q802 USB. Do you see all these knobs? I don't know how to use these things. I would end up just plugging the microphones the into this knobs. and just, like, hoping it would work. And sometimes it did, <laughs> and sometimes it didn't. Um, I've seen people use this, like, whoa, Chris is like an actual audio, like engineer, audio person, audio file. He probably knows how to use this. I have no idea how to use this. This thing has buttons and little like sliders. And that's all that I need. Cause that's all that I can figure out how to use. Okay, I, so are we streaming on the a 6,400? We are currently streaming on the Sony a 6,400. There you go. Y'all. There you go. Y'all in Il Illinois. I've been looking for a really sharp lens for up close product videos. Any recommendations? I use the 12 Ah, Mel's here. Hey Mel. I use the 12 to 60. The the Leica 12 to 60, the kit lens with the GH5. That's what I use because it has a really close focusing distance and like my good friend and also patron uh, Patrick Tomaso has showed me uh, if you have seen my video on the why you should buy the GH5, there's a really cool feature in it called 4K live cropping mm. where you turn that feature on. I actually have it uh hot keyed to F1. You just turn on 4K live cropping and then pick where you want it to go, and you can get it to pan and tilt in the camera without having to move it. It's look, if you guys have not bought a GH5, I would highly I would highly recommend it. Even if you do studio stuff like this, like this is where it's the best. Okay. You just put the 25 millimeter 1.7, which costs like a hundred bucks, gives you a nice 50 millimeter with a little bit of a shallow depth of field. Uh, you can hook it up to, like, your phone or an iPad and control it from there. You don't need autofocus when you have the app. Like, I, oh, I love, I love you, buddy. Stop. Love, don't be jealous. <laughs> You're ridiculous. I love you the You and your electronics. No, don't talk about her that way. Her? Did you just anthropomorphize a camera? Don't worry. Right she's, now? She's jealous. Don't worry. Stop it. You leave her You're out. out of control. You don't understand us. Oh, don't worry, honey. You'll be replaced next week. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> You're a goner. You're just gone. That is very The only thing true. you haven't replaced in this house is me and our child. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, wow. Da, 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 da. But yeah, that's my favorite lens. Hold on. I got to get back into the comments. You guys, what am I going to do with him? I, I don't know. Cardosa. Oh, yeah, we already answered that. Yes. What's up, Mel? Oh, yeah, everybody, you, you already did all that. I'm slowly working yeah, myself. you're catching back up. I'm catching myself back up. Spiffy Vids, Everyday Dad, can you review the Sony DSC-H10? <laughs> Hi, Doc. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I whoa, Chris, I really like the Roadcaster. Um, it's like they designed something perfectly for me. I know a lot of people were complaining at the beginning when it first came out that it wouldn't do multi-track okay. recording, which means... <laughs> Which means it did single track recording. So whatever we did, like these <laughs> microphones, if we hooked up anything to it, it would all be on the same file. But with the newest firmware, it lets you do multi-track recording where each input can be recorded separately if you're doing post-processing stuff, which is amazing. <laughs> what computer are we on tonight? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. We are on a new computer tonight. We're actually streaming from a Windows computer and not the MacBook. I bought, an open, I bought an open box laptop. Last what week. is it? The Legion of something? This is a Lenovo Legion. I probably shouldn't close the screen or we'll lose you guys. Do not do that. It's a Legion U something. Doesn't it say on it? It says Legion. Legion. Why are you calling why are you calling it that? Because it's Legion. It's pronounced Legion. Like Legion of Doom. Legion of Destroyers. Legion of Doom. No, it's not Legion. It's not a it hard is, G. It is a hard G. It's a soft G. What? People. I'm telling God, I'm you. sorry. Everybody out there, I'm do you see what I have to live with? This is the truth. It's Legion, not Legion. It is Legion. No. Don't yeah. ruin this word. You You guys. I can't even. It's true. I can't I can't even. Anyway, it's a Legion, Lenovo Legion, Legion something or other. I it's got the Core i7, it's got the 10 the the GTX 1050 Ti. 
<laughs> and uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM. So it was just, I wanted to have something because I was sick of always going back to the, the Mac if I wanted to, like, change something. And so I want to have, like, the whole, like, command center <laughs> in front of me uh, so we can do stuff. So it is. I don't believe you guys. It, it is I'm, a Windows computer. I think I'm right. You are not right. You are wrong. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this right not here. Not wrong. Here's how I'm going to prove that you're wrong. Are you going to super? <laughs> what? Oh, what are you doing? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Can I do this? It's a legion. Like legion. Legion. Just trust me. Just trust me. There we go. Is the internet about to explode? Uh, probably. It, uh, my chat did just crash. Oh, no, it did? <laughs> it did. <laughs> okay, no, wait. It's back. It's back. Hold on. I think I... There we Come go. On. Hooray. Hey, door. $5 from the Everyday Dad <laughs> at Wonder Wife. It's Legion with a G. Hey, this guy seems to know what he's talking about. Thanks, Everyday Dad. We really appreciate it. You're a dork. Dork. Somet Duh, orc. Sometimes, Duh, orc. sometimes I'm proud of myself. You I'm, are? I'm pretty proud of that one. Well, here. Pretty proud of that one. I don't see any, <laughs> I don't see a group of people, a legion of people, perhaps, lining up to join in. That's right, you. because it's a legion. It's not. Because you're saying it you're wrong. You're wrong. You are wrong. What's up, Thomas? Hey, thanks for joining us. <laughs> ah, switching off the topic. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I did uh, doing a super chat for myself. Um, People say you need beer. It's it crashed the uh, the chat for a second for me. You're more fun. I'm more fun with caffeine personally. <laughs> That's what I think. Oh yeah. Um, so Party we have, on. Are there any other questions? Does um. anybody have any questions uh, <laughs> besides the look? She she grew up. I don't know. I don't even know what to tell what you. What do you mean? I don't know what to Check tell you your GPA. Uh yeah, but who? Okay. I'm, we're not gonna go oh, down. Okay. We're not gonna go down this route. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Vincent. These aren't green chairs. These are green chairs, according to the everyday English professor over here. Green. The everyday green. Well, actually, they're, they're chartreuse. Green. They're green. It's French for green. For green, you mean? <laughs> yeah, the green, the 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 gross green chairs are. Uh, Right here. Oh, okay. All right. I got some words for you, but I'll wait. They the are. Kenneth, sleeping. you're right. These are snot colored. She spelled, she pronounced snot wrong. Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth. I like that everybody's on my side tonight. They're Thank you so much. Junior Jones, XT3, 1855 versus A6500 uh, or the GH5. Mm. Well, let's look. Not the A6500. The A6500 is terrible. It's terrible. The A6500, if you ever want to use that outdoors, uh, you mm -hmm. can't because the screen, the eight, look, I do not like the A6500. Just straight up, I do not like it because it's <laughs> bad. Um, but between the XT3, hold on, hold on, the XT3, the GH5. So the XT3, <laughs> I really like both. I prefer the GH5 for, like we said, the stabilization is amazing. I like the, t I like the screen. And I like the XLR adapter. <laughs> if you don't need those things, the XT3 has some fantastic stuff. <laughs> What's up? Whoa, Chris, $50. Whoa, it's Legion. <laughs> As in a group, a Roman military unit, not Legion. Legion is a kit, is a cut like you get when you <laughs> cut yourself. Thank you, Whoa, Chris. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <clears throat> Thanks. You're right. A Legion is with the S. Bill, Utah, $5. I don't think sending you a super chat to yourself. Hashtag team chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we, team chairs is not a thing. It's no, not sorry. a thing. We're here and we're representing. Yeah. Take your yeah. Remember that time you super chatted yourself? I do. It was really great. Hold on. We'll do really? a quick dance party for super chatting myself. <laughs> oh, nope. Oh, uh, Mel, put Ted and time out on the Hold couch. On. No cameras. Hold what on. What would he do? <laughs> You had your headphones on, you don't. I absolutely. I'm playing my walk on music. If this was like a wrestling match, a wrestling match? 400 AGL, two dollars. Put Ted and Time out on the couch, no cameras. Not gonna happen. <laughs> 
I don't know. We'll work it out. So how are you controlling the music through your phone? It's 2019. But I mean, Bluetooth. Yeah. How is it going from here to there to this? Magic. Maybe if you had your headphones and you oh, know. <laughs> Head should not dance. Agree. You guys, we went dancing last night. And he had the shopping cart ready. He also had the white guy thumb thing all night. I was, I was smacking them down. I was like, put those away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we won't we won't do that too much. Just, hold on, we Vincent Chen, the Dream Chair Coalition. <laughs> I don't know about that. Photo Gear Fun 5 with the G and the A6500 is silent, but it's still one of the Sony's best cameras, right? That's a negative. The A6500, look, we, again, <laughs> Photo Gear Fun and I disagree <laughs> on this all the time. I really like uh, the A6400 because it's good. I don't like the A6500 because it's bad. How about this? Chase, we absolutely should do that. There are lesions of lesions on my nether regions. Whoa. <laughs> That's so funny. You gotta keep it, we gotta keep it G. I'm just reading what he wrote. G-rated. That doesn't make it Jeff's okay. Jeff wrote it, and I was like, watch how I make this work. It's like caught and caught. Hello? Bill Utah, it is not copyrighted music. It is part of my epidemic music license um, that uh, <laughs> we, use, we use in all the videos. So I have like a little playlist. Of music, and that's like, I don't know. I kind of was like, hey, I really <laughs> like this song. That cause that's gonna be my like, when I become a big wrestling star. Like, oh, you are. Like when someday when they're WWF like, WWF. Someday or? when they're like, hey, we want the small YouTubers to like do a, a, a like a cage wrestling. Like cage wrestle. That's what I'm gonna walk on to. I'm gonna be like, this is my royalty free music from Epidemic Music, and I'm gonna. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Can you even imagine that, you guys? Would you wear a singlet like high school or no? Of course I would. Of course I would. Keeping it modest. <laughs> VNTG8, what is the most vintage piece of camera equipment you own? Uh, I only got into cameras like two years ago, so what's the most vintage I own? Vintage piece of camera equipment. I don't know that I own anything vintage. What's the oldest piece of... Oh, your yeah, DSLR my side that I started. Kick. My side no, kick. that's not a piece of camera equipment. Okay, that's fun. a piece of junk. <gasps> You're in rare form tonight, mister. <laughs> you got jokes for days. My most vintage piece of camera equipment is my wife's Nikon D5100 that I I started, like, my YouTube channel with. That camera is, like, from 2011. And she used it, like, three times. That's not true. It was very expensive. I cataloged all of our She's child's purse with that camera. Three times. Then she got a brand new camera for Christmas. Has she used it once? Look, have you used it once? Have you keep you keep taking it and using it? I uh, yeah, because I I plugged it for in you the so battery. Is it. the battery back in it? Yes. No. Yes. You didn't put it back in there. Uh, you want to bet? You yeah, I do. Go on. Bye. Get ready to eat crow. Don't you throw that chair! Don't you throw the chair, Gary? Ugh. You little Rudy Tootie. You guys. He is a mess tonight. Sorry about the wildness. Let me see what I can do while he's gone. Over here. Just going to touch a couple things here. Let's see if I can do that. Hmm. Okay. I hope I didn't break it. <laughs> I was touching it. I don't know. Oh. Hmm. <coughs> what, oh no, he's back. What doth I have here? Is this a Canon T6 with a fully charged battery and an SD no. card inside No, how it? could it be fully charged if it hasn't been charged yet? I charged it for you. Oh yeah, and when have you done See this? See that full battery. All right, close full, it up. Full, hold on. So the, um, the cherry blossoms are coming to DC, so I'm going to go take some pictures. Full yes. battery. There's no audio now? Uh-oh. Is, is that no true, audio? you guys? Why is there no audio? Why is the stream in green? What's going on? Did I break it? Did you break it? It it's should still blurry, be blurry, it says. Can you guys see? Update it should us. still be going. It should, yeah, it's good. That's it's good. not a real camera. <laughs> it's honestly. good. It's good. Give me the camera. Oh, now you want it. Give it to me. It's mine. Okay, you have to use it. Don't make me have a fit. Okay, and I'm back from proving myself right, which is Chase the Nippa best. says there's no audio and it's green. Oh no. There's nothing green. 
wonder why it isn't in chat anymore. I'm here. Can y'all see me? I'm good. It, it should be fine. Oh, no. You just weren't talking into the microphone. You just weren't. You oh, sorry, it. Daniel. You're probably right. I was probably, probably yelling over right. in this direction. Probably Don't right. flip my chair again, either. It needed to be done. No. We're just going to call it like it is. Rude. Lloyd did not like it. Oh, hey, that. later, later, Bill Utah. Thanks for joining us. Oh, yeah. Bill, have fun with your sister. Cardosa. It's not as fast with a native lens, but it's pretty darn fast. And it's very reliable, um, especially when you're doing video stuff. So the, the autofocus in the A6400 is probably <laughs> the best autofocus I've ever, I've ever used. It's incredible. Normally, even when like... All autofocus fails from time to time. Canon's autofocus fails. Uh, the X-T3 autofocus fails. The Z6 autofocus fails. I have yet to have a point, even when I put like my hands in front of my face on the A6400, for it to fail. The only other autofocus I've seen as good as this is the C200. Because the C200 has a face-only um, mode where it will only autofocus if it sees a face. If it loses the face... Then it just stays in one spot. It doesn't move focus anywhere else. <laughs> it's amazing. The A6400 <laughs> is incredible. Yes. <laughs> 400 AGL, everything is fun on your side. Gary is upside down. <laughs> Gary is the right one. <laughs> Gary is... Thank you, Mel. <laughs> Gary's, the, Gary's on the side of the angels here. <laughs> Gary is upside down. <laughs> You're but yeah, no, so <laughs> this is... I love live streaming. I, I feel so much better. Like, last time we live streamed... <laughs> The last thing on the mm. planet I wanted to do was stream, but I was like, oh, we got to do it. We got to do it. And I was sick and I had no energy. And I, feel I had a better. lot of energy. I feel so much better today. What else? Do we have any questions? When, um, I, when I left to go prove myself right, what, what came down the. Uh, Doc, you're in Colorado Springs. How fun are you? Skiing. They get blasted by a lot of snow. They had, but they call it like a. Like a it's called polar, snow. No, it was called like a vortex bomb or something. But they got, like, blasted by, like, 100-mile winds and a bunch of snow. Whoa. Okay. Please tell me more. I'm sorry that I know about I would like to know more. And you're just like, let me talk about this camera for 45 minutes. Because cameras but are Doc, awesome. I hope you and Kim are having fun. Cameras are awesome. <laughs> yes. Kenneth, he did. He was. He just. He just imploded. And was like, I'm done. The wild and wonderful world inside Jeff's The cyclone heads. bomb. Yes, thank you, Vincent. Ted, do you have any experience it. with Tamron lenses? I will say I've only had experience with one lens. It's the Tamron 28 to 75 full frame Sony E mount lens, which is the best lens I've ever used in my life. That is my <laughs> favorite lens. Um, I considered keeping the A7 III just because that lens exists for it. It is amazing. Yeah, I think you and can. This is an expensive camera that's not mine. Yeah, okay. You're, but, you're not allowed to but, touch, to touch <laughs> it. Photo gear, fun. I think you could. You could absolutely. I could definitely not. You could absolutely else. smash somebody with it. Miguel, if I had to choose one camera for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be my GH5. Like, if I could only have one camera, it would absolutely be the GH5. I love this camera. Put it in your diary. And I'm then writing. when you think about selling it, don't. I, this is my fifth GH5. So the GH5 and I have had a long a long history um this <laughs> you're still not committed though i can see it well, in your eyes no i am i'm very committed to this one you're thinking um, about it the whole re so the reason <laughs> no i returned the gh5 previously four other times is i was trying to like make the autofocus work for me because there's a million videos out there where they're like oh if you do this setting and this setting you tweak it tweak it tweak it you'll get usable autofocus when you just like pull that autofocus <laughs> band-aid off and you're like i don't even need autofocus anymore then the GH5 is the, literally the best camera on the market. There's still no other camera that can do what the GH5 can do. Like, for you can get one of these used for like thirteen hundred dollars. Like, it does 4K 60 unlimited. It has 10 bit internal. It has the flip screen. It has the XLR adapter. I'm telling you, you just don't use the autofocus with it. If you're using it to vlog, yeah. you've probably got a wide enough lens that you can just the tap to focus on this thing is insane. You just tap, <laughs> put it in manual focus. Tap focus, it'll focus on your face, you're done. And it's got awesome focus peaking in here, so you know what's in focus. Um, wow. I just, I love the GH5. No, I know, I can feel it. And it's like the perfect. Love is in the air. It's like the perfect, not only is it a good talking head narrative <laughs> camera, it's like the perfect B-roll camera. It does 1080p at 180 Why frames per second. Why make it do B-roll if it's your number one? Well, there's different layers of like, so there's like your main oh. shot and then there's your B shot. B-roll's almost more important than A-roll. 
Um, but because of the awesome stabilization combined with that uh, VFR. Good night, Cadoso. Good night. To 1080p, 180 frames per second. You don't even need a tripod with this thing. This is the best camera ever made. Right now, it is the best camera ever made. Um, and I love it. it I, so if you, have, if you don't follow me on Twitter, which you should follow me on Twitter, because that's where Twitter and Discord are where I spend the majority of my time. Just We've got too many YouTube comments anymore for me to... I, I try to respond to as many as I can, but that's like a full-time job in and of itself. So if you want to get a hold of me, Twitter and Discord is the way to do it. Um, but I've started everything in my life now is this is the goal. This is one. That's so the gold standard. Everything else is how many GH5s. Like, what percentage okay. of a GH5 is it? So I'm like, the A6400 is a fantastic camera. It's like a three-quarter GH5. What about, okay, so Amy wants to know, GH5 or Z6? If you could only have one? Only a one. Amy, are you going to be doing photography? So if you're going to be doing photography, I'd probably go with the Z6. Oh! It has better autofocus. Don't let her hear. It has better auto. It has really good. I really like the mm-hmm. Z6's autofocus. It's got fantastic colors. But if you're doing. So no, it's not doing photography. If you're doing video. That's a tough one. The Z6 is the best. So the, the Z6 is the best full frame video camera out there right now. It's incredible. So Z6 for videoing. Oh, but the GH5, I said it's the best full frame. GH5 is micro four thirds. If you want a full frame sensor, you really like how full frame looks. Go with the Z6. If you don't care about that, go with the GH5. I like the. G- uh, there's a reason I don't have a Z6 anymore. I have a GH5 and the A6400. I sold everything else because I'm trying to slim down the insanity of all the cameras I had. There was a time there I had the GH5, the XT3, the Z6, and the A6400. That was a lot. So wow. Um, but I I personally use the GH5 again. This audio de- like. Oh my gosh! Are are you serious right now? I can't believe I can believe that I just did that. But oh my gosh, you launched it! They know what that is, you guys. Karma. He flipped a chair. Camera flipped out of his hands. So just saying this audio adapter is like such a good like I'm <laughs> telling you, audio is more important than video quality. The audio adapter, this XLR adapter, is so good. Like I can. Best camera ever made. Best camera ever made. What's up, 51 Drones? Hey, thanks for joining us. I didn't throw the camera. I threw the <laughs> XLR adapter. Star Thunder Foodle. I believe I can pull off. Yeah, my poor XLR adapter. <laughs> it is a Thomas the says it's officially, the it's, officially, it's officially a TED production. Something, <laughs> something, something got dropped. Fell. Every time. I don't even, oh. like, I don't intentionally do that. Like, that's not a branding thing for me. <laughs> like, even for uh, reviewing the cheapest today, I was like, I was unboxing the camera and it dropped. And I was like, I'm never, I never can live this down. No. Never can it's live this down. It's a trademark thing. Chase Nipple, why do I prefer the GH5? For all of the reasons I just said. It's got amazing video quality. It's got amazing audio quality. It just works. It just works. And there's still no other <laughs> camera. There's not another camera on the market at any price point no. that does what this does. <laughs> this is uh, so there's there's a live there's a channel that I really like. Um, I've talked about them before. Uh, they're like professional video people. They have like a production company in Alabama. I love watching their stuff. Um, I unfortunately am never able to catch them live, but they use GH5s and they're actually the the ones that turned me on to the GH5. They I mean this is the best like this is one of the best cameras ever made. They called it a revolution in a box. Like, you can buy a GH5 for, comparatively speaking, it is an expensive piece of gear, but when you consider everything else on the market, it's not that expensive. But I love, I know we're supposed to be talking about the OMD EM1X, which is this big honking, this big honking Mm. thing that costs twice as much as the GH5 and does have really good, uh, my buddies over at Kinotika, Dave and uh, Connor, they just bought one of these. (laughs) And this is what they've been using for all of their videos, and I think it looks pretty good. The image quality that I've seen so far is great. But again, I can buy the GH5 with the XLR adapter, with the battery grip, with the lenses. Um, actually, I could buy my entire video kit for this. The A6400 was 900 bucks. I bought this used with the lens for 1900 bucks. That's 2800 You said 900 and... 19 2800 Okay, so... Almost. I could buy both the cameras for the same price as this without a lens. Throw in a 200. If you could find this used, you could probably find this used. You could get it for just about the same price. So is the autofocus worth it? We're going to find out because 
I'm very excited about the uh, the OMD EM One X. Snarfundle Foodle uh, GH5 is next to my upgrade list once I outgrow my current camera. If they could, if they could release a GH6 with phase detection autofocus, it would be the perfect camera. Panasonic will never do that. Um, they are fully invested in this depth from defocus autofocus technology that just it's great for stills, not great for video, um, unfortunately. But I love love the GH5. So good. It's got dual card slots. It's got stabilization. It's got a full HDMI port. Every camera needs a give full blood. HDMI port. <laughs> I hate cameras that don't, like no camera has full HDMI. It's got joysticks. It's got a touchscreen. It's got a really easy menu system. I Best saw it, Mel. Ever. I saw it. Best camera ever. Okay, I have not been in the comments in a while. Mark Tardo, uh, I did use it a little bit earlier today. Great image quality, great stabilization. <laughs> The autofocus is pretty good. The autofocus is pretty darn good. The battery lasts for days. It does. It comes with like serious batteries. Like, well, okay. That's I don't want to. I don't okay. want to. Spo- you can just yes is good. I don't yes want to spoil good. the unboxing video uh, for Monday, but it comes with very nice batteries. Yeah. What Great. are they? Seventeen hundred milliamp hour battery. Wow. What does the GH five come with? Oh, two thousand. Battery. Okay. GH5 is better again. Huh. Surprising. Not said nobody ever. Because it's not a surprise. The GH5 is the best oh, camera. Oh, my word. What did you have for dinner? I wasn't here. I had pizza. Oh, my God. You the, didn't. The everyday, you were like living the bachelor life the because everyday, you have a kid. The everyday kid and I had uh, had pizza for dinner because that's what he wanted. Matt MPG, I would say the 12 <laughs> oh, to 60 yeah. Leica kit lens. Just him? Him and I. Oh, yeah. Him and Glory I. Glory be. We both had pizza. I'm sure you didn't. I'm sure you fought over it too. Uh, he did a little bit, but I'm the I'm the biggest and I weigh the most. <laughs> That's a quote from a TV show. It is, a Simpsons or something. Nope. Same creator. Family Guy. Nope. The space one. Which is called. The space one with the girl that's from like married with children. Okay. What's it called? I don't know. What is it's it called? It's a thing, and it has the redheaded cre- like guy, and then. Whoa, like- Chris! You have been derenched. Did you derench? Whoa, Chris! No. How would I do that? I have no authority. How did you get derenched? Maybe oh. maybe when you changed your channel name back to back, it did it. No. Derenched? I think she derenched you. How? Wrench him up. Wrench up Grumpy, too. Grumpy? Where, yeah, where's Lloyd. Grumpy? He's, I thought he was, too, and he's where's not. Where's Grumpy? He's here. He's been commenting. He said he's only here for me. Everybody's <laughs> all, you're only here for you. <laughs> Only here for you. Come on. Fine. I don't know how that happened, Chris. Nobody. I have no authority. No authority. You better get used to that. <gasps> <laughs> I'll never get used to that. I meant in this right here. For 3K better, the Olympus is a tough sell GH5 all day. Yeah, and again, again, the the Olympus is more for still shooters <laughs> It's more for like it's to be a one DX, like a Micro Four Thirds one DX. It's not necessarily <laughs> to be a video camera, but since it has video features, it will get judged by them. Ah, pineapple on pizza. I'm de wrenching. Yum! I I'm de wrenching like you right now. Don't. Uh, he's a nice guy. Well, but I didn't realize he was a psycho. <laughs> Stop! He's the one saying I didn't bang the GH5. He's making jokes. You're not even. I didn't bang the GH5. Head. I banged the OMD EM1X. <gasps> no, it's yeah. supposed to be tough. You'll it's be knocking to be, something else off the table. It's supposed to be tough. I saw somebody put one of these in a freezer and it still works. Oh lord! Vincent Chen get a 1DX or D5 for the money? Well, for three grand, I mean, you still can't get a 1DX for three grand. It's like a six thousand dollar body. Um, I don't know the D five. If I had, th- if I had three grand and I could just buy whatever camera I wanted, wait, don't I mean, answer I do, this. I do have. Yes, I was gonna say I do have. I'd still stick with what I got. There's, I, I am very specific in my gear. The reason I switch gears so much is my needs change a lot. What? Um, but what I've used, or perhaps your desires change. Well, yeah, perhaps well, you like you like shiny objects. Syndrome. I do. I do like. like it's called, ooh, the new hotness. Buy it. And then this one is like yesterday's hotness, so it's not as cool. 
This is the brand new. No, this sorry. I'm new. using it as an analogy. I'm not being literal because I've paid not any attention to about these cameras at all. I know. So I I'm know. just saying, like, if this is the new hotness, this is yesterday's trash. Goodbye. This is the new hotness. But now tomorrow, this is the new hotness. We have to get this. That's a mouse. We have to also visit it at numerous stores, perhaps shop online and then talk about it at dinner. Even though I just love talking about cameras, sometimes I just don't want to. Oh, but then don't don't hold back now, really, because then we got to make a video about it. Another video about it. Let's compare it. Let's drop it. Let's t tell all of our friends about it. Let's compare their battery life. Let's go ahead and take it on a like a motorcycle ride or a mountain biking ride. And let's go see how about how's the autofocus and how does the stabilization and is it fidgety and do I have to do this and this and this and this. And yep, then tomorrow is a new camera. It's a new day. And we start all over again. We have the X-T30 We're coming We're so next glad week. you're here. We have the X-T30 coming next week. Oh. I'm really excited for the X-T30. I can't wait. I cannot yeah, wait. Yeah, so I'm excited about the OMD M1 X. Do you feel better after saying that? Thanks for joining us, VNTG. No, I have more to say, but I will wait. You never wait. <laughs> oh, you're waiting for yours post-stream. Guess what you need to set that post stream up? The everyday dad. No, all I have to do is click, click something or other. Exactly. You don't know. You don't know how to do I that. I don't know. You don't know fidget, fid, fiddliness. <laughs> now you got fidget in my head. <laughs> fiddliness. So we, again, we're going to change back. We were calling it business time. That's going to go back to fiddliness. Business time? It was. So the four criteria are video quality, which is image and audio. I saw your picture. Ease of use. You like handwrit with a marker. I did. Like a six-year-old. And your handwriting was pitiful. Look, I get. It's underneath the computer. I get really sick of people in my comments like, oh, this camera destroys the other camera. It has this image quality. I don't care about image quality. There, I said it. I do not. What? It, it only has to be so good. What I really need mm. is a camera that is easy what? to use. That's what matters. Where did I put my I little, saw your little I drawing. It. I see it. I Maybe made a little drawing. Maybe when you drop drawing. the camera. Hold on. I didn't Maybe. drop the camera. I threw the XLR adapter. Oh, man. Photo Gear Fun says the A6400 did an amazing job with the live stream tonight. Yeah, it hasn't even. That's great. And that's what I really like about it. It has not. Hold on. Let me check and see if it's overheating. <laughs> okay. Good. He's finally gone. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah. Nope. I, can you touch it or does it have like um, a thermostat on it or like it would, a temperature if gauge? A, if it was overheating, there would be a little display, like a little thermometer icon, which it doesn't. We've been going for an hour now. And when I did it with, when we used oh. to stream with the A6300, it would. I mean, it was shut off from overheating, so it's pretty awesome. So check it out. This is the Everyday Dad's, um, like, importance of camera features. As you can see, color, sharpness, codecs, and resolutions are here on the little. Ease of use is the big bar. I was going to make it, like, all the way, but that would have been very irritating. So ease of use. Like, I don't care about image quality. And people in the comments, and I really get, okay, I'm going to vent for a second. I'm taking this off. Uh oh, we're I'm getting gonna vent. real. I'm gonna vent. So there's take the hat off. You're gonna get sweaty. I'm already sweaty. <laughs> so there's like this thing, right? And it's not a YouTube thing. It's not a now thing. It's an always negativity brings clicks, right? Okay. Negativity is has always sold newspapers. It's always sold magazines. It sold books back when the printing press was new and when monks handwrit books. They negativity sold books. Like really? negativity sells. And so it drives me crazy when a camera like, we'll take uh, the A6400 and the EOS RP, for example. The features get announced. People make a million videos on why these cameras suck. Oh, it's the dynamic range is bad and the colors are gross and it, this screen doesn't work and blah, 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 without ever actually using the thing. So then I get a bunch of people in the comments that all they do is watch the videos. They have no uh, they have no opinion of their own. They just assume the opinion of whatever negative video they've watched. And then they're like, oh, how? they don't even watch my video. I know because I answer the things that they're complaining about in my video. So they're like, oh, why didn't you like it destroys this camera because of this reason and this reason and this reason. It's like, well, I say in the video that that's not actually true. You're just repeating crap that you heard on another video. So if you're going to be a negative person, at least form your own at negative least opinion. Original and negative. At least use it. At least give it a shot. Take the OMD EM1X. 
and give it a shot before you just start saying, oh, the, the GH5 destroys this because of reasons. Like, use <laughs> and it. And I'm like, mad. I'm mad. mad. I'm mad. Canon, you, and I did, okay. I did make a live stream saying that Canon broke my heart because they broke my heart for features that I wanted, but I still think it is a relative, I think, still think the OSRP is a relatively good camera. It's a little overpriced, and when the price drops later this year, I guarantee it's going to drop for Christmas. When it drops, I will recommend it. But people are like, ah, ah. don't don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Be kind. Rewind. Be kind. <laughs> you, if you want, if you use it, and then those things actually turn out to be the case, then yes, say in my experience, using this, it is bad for these reasons. Don't watch somebody's video and then be like, this is definitive fact from on high. Unless they're my videos, then my videos are always definitive fact. <laughs> oh, my word. Don't ever. Don't. You're in a rare form Mine are, My videos are 100% opinions. Well, yeah, at least you give, the, you give the goods and the bads 100%. instead of just like, dun, 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 clickbait. Click this video, watch me be angry and throw things and whatever. I'll yeah. rip off my hat and stomp around like a little it just drives immature. Me, it drives me crazy. Yeah, Chase, you got to use it first. And there's been some videos where it doesn't seem like the person even owns the, the cameras or whatever they're they angry about. They don't. Whatever. They're just, they're just angry. And they're negative. And it, oh, ugh. yeah. What is going on? 400 AGL. Why did... Yeah, give it back to like the. It's nothing we're doing, you guys. It must just be doing it on YouTube. I'm sorry. There's people that started out in the chat with the wrench, and now they don't. Vincent have Chen, nine hundred dollars for the RP. Yes. Yeah, I think, I think around Christmas time the RP will go to about nine hundred bucks, and then I will recommend that all day long, despite what the internet comment police have to say. Write that down. Write it down. <laughs> I'm gonna write it down in my journal. Write it down in my journal. Yeah, I was positive. Today I said angry <laughs> things about angry people on the internet. Go me. High five. No, I don't like that. High five. No, I'm leaving you hanging. High five. Don't be mad. Don't put me in your diary. High five. I'll fist bump you. Just kidding. Aw. <laughs> Aw. Aw. That hurts. Oh, man. Yeah, it, it drives me crazy. It drives me absolutely crazy. I don't know. Uh, headless chicken, I wonder if the RP may go lower to eliminate the M50. I don't know that they'll ever eliminate the M50. What's the RP mean? The EOS RP, the camera, oh. the camera that I had last week. I almost bought one of those darn things. Um, yeah, you were talking about it. I actually, so again, Discord, if you're on the Discord, I bought and canceled two of the EOS Rs. Oh, no. Um, then I bought an RP and canceled it. And then I ended up really liking the, I'm really glad I ended up liking the A6400 because I, that's the one that I obviously bought to keep with. Vincent Chen, two dollars. Ted, happy hour. Wow, we are past an hour. Thank you so much, Vincent. I really appreciate yeah. oh, it. Oh, I love it. Who are you having fun? I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? We're probably gonna. We're probably gonna call it there. Are you gonna no. do your after show? You are really you are. Show? I like to keep it to. I like to keep it consistent for people. I don't want to oh. hold people hostage. Maybe somebody feels like they need to go. Daniel so. wants to know. Did you see Travis McPee's video on people who get angry at brand loyalty? I saw it. I didn't. Is it good? Yeah, it was good. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll have to watch Travis that. Travis is always good. I do very much What's up, like players? <laughs> I do like it. Are you doing your after stream? Just real quick, because I think there's a couple of people who had questions for me. So just you can come over to my live chat and ask me whatever you want to ask me. Okay, so give us like, whoa, Chris. I'll keep it going. Minutes. Minutes. <laughs> I'll give you five more minutes. I'll do a, a dollar a minute. <laughs> oh, man. A dollar a minute. It's so like we'll go. Massage place. We'll go. <laughs> we'll go until uh, we'll do five more minutes and then we'll call it because I got to then set up everything for her stream because we're not going to use. I'm going to switch lenses and I'm going to move these chairs. You are? How come? Um, Why? Because this is too wide. It's good. This, it's going to look weird. You're expensive, Ted. <laughs> Tell me about it. Oh, my gosh. We got to meet you, well, Chris. Tell me <laughs> about it. What up, players? <laughs> and for all you new people, welcome. <laughs> I do. I really like Travis. He has a great intro. He's fun. You guys, if you've never seen his channel, uh, Travis McPee is his channel. You should absolutely. You should absolutely watch Travis. He's a great guy. Professor Vallejo, not a camera question, but thoughts on Tesla Model Y? I, I drive a 2000. A Tesla. Oh, yeah. 16 They've Nissan already done the Frontier. S, the E, the X, and now the Y. I drive a busted truck. No, um, you don't. A busted truck. J 
Just because you ran into something with it doesn't make it busted. It is busted. It runs flawless. Oh, I'm sorry. Does it have Bluetooth? Check. Does it have automatic windows? Check. My first Do vehicle have, ever to have automatic windows. You have a CD player? Check. Do you have, like, cottony seats? Check. Does it have an engine? Check. Four wheels? Check. A truck bed? Check. Windshield wipers? Check. Lights? Check. License? Check. Plates? Check. They are renewed because your wife takes care of these things? Check. Check. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What part about your truck is busted? Was it built the last 10 years? Uh, yeah. It was built the last five. Can I math right or no? I'm sorry. So I'm pretty sure your truck's fine. But Don't anyway. Don't be acting like you're broke. But anyway, I drive an older truck. An older I don't, truck? I don't know anything. I don't know anything about Teslas. Where is I am Wedge? I don't know anything about Teslas. I only use the CD player because the everyday kid has a CD that he really likes. And it, it's actually, is Thomas still here? Thomas Garrett, did I see that he was leaving? We had to go put his little girl to sleep. Oh, uh, Thomas. So the only the only CD that we listen to in the car <laughs> is the one that has the... Uh, <coughs> If you guys are Final Fantasy, if you guys like the video game Final Fantasy, he loves Final Fantasy VII, the music from Final Fantasy VII. We actually played through it, like, last year. You guys did? And so the boss battle music of Final Fantasy VII, we have a CD with that on it. He loves listening to it. Hmm. Loves listening to it. That's great. So proud. Don't you have, like, a video game, like, orchestra CD that you like? That's the exact CD we're about. But what's the name of it? I do not remember. I bought it... We were walking so by bad. Barnes and Noble one time, and I was like, "Hey, that's the music from Final Fantasy VII. It was like the Overworld music or Clouds theme. If you're a nerd and knows knows the uh... Lloyd, I've seen your truck on your videos. Looks good. Looks good. But uh, so that's the CD. That's the only CD we listen to. Okay, so that is that's time. So I'm gonna set up everything for Wonder Wife's. Live stream. It's just a quick one. It has nothing to do with technology. If you'd like to hang out with the actual brains behind the operation, no. well, the live stream's over, so you can hang out with the uh, the other one. <laughs> <laughs> You're in so much trouble when this is over and people can't see this, you little goon. <laughs> you think you're so funny. You I, think you're so funny. I, I, you're I, laughing right now I, at your I, own I, joke. Like, hardcore. I crack myself up sometimes. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We will catch you next week. Uh, Same time, same place. And if you want to join Wonder Wife for her after party, her stream will be up here in just a minute. What am I going to do with you? I love it. No.